Tonight, the head of the Disney company is fighting back against Governor Ron DeSantis's move to take over Walt Disney World's governing board. Responding to that move and Governor Ron DeSantis's comments about the company's philosophical beliefs, Bob Iger said at today's shareholder meeting that the governor is retaliating against free speech, adding, quote, our point on this is that any action that thwarts those efforts simply to retaliate for a position the company took sounds not just anti-business, but it sounds anti-Florida. West 2 News political reporter Greg Fox explains how the governor is ramping up his investigation of a last minute move to insulate the company from state control. Disney World has been in control of its development since the 60s through its self-governing Reedy Creek Improvement District. The outgoing board on the verge of being replaced made no indication February 8th it was planning a last minute change that would give Disney control for decades to come. We're just here to do our business the way we've been uh, asked to do it. Did you hear that? The way they've been asked to do it. In protecting its rights to Cinderella Castle's future, Disney took a cue from Windsor Castle. The departing board approved a development agreement that gives Disney development rights for an initial duration of up to 30 years. But an additional clause claims it to be in effect until 21 years after the death of the last survivor of the descendants of King Charles III, King of England, living as of the date of this declaration. King Charles' youngest grandchild, Lily, is a toddler. Understandably, revelations of the agreement came as a shock to the governor's replacement board. And it was done to prevent us from doing our job. And that is offensive to me. Governor Ron DeSantis is promising his own surprises for Disney. There's a lot of little back and forth going on now with the state taking control, but rest assured, uh, you know, you ain't seen nothing yet. There's more to come in that regard. Governor DeSantis wants to know if the actions of the former Reedy Creek board were in any way unethical or illegal. He's ordering his Office of Inspector General to investigate. In this letter to the OIG's office, the governor said he wants to know if the former Reedy Creek board had legal standing to approve the development agreement, if there's resulting financial gain for Walt Disney World or its employees, and he wants a thorough examination of communications between Disney and RCID. Both the Florida Department of Law Enforcement and the Attorney General's office are also involved in the investigation of Disney's former government board. Greg Fox, West 2 News. Also during today's shareholders meeting, Disney announced that it will be spending $17 billion on new projects at Disney World during the next decade. That will create 13,000 new jobs.